Hey guys, welcome back to another round of Crossout. So, I think we're going to do this a little bit differently uh, than last time. A lot of you guys were <laughs> deeply offended that this wasn't a, a War Robots video. Well, not, not tons of you, um, but enough of you where I think we're just going to... We'll, we'll change it up a little bit. We'll just have this as an additional upload on a Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Um, so, that's when you guys will be seeing it. For right now, right now for me, it's Saturday. Uh, but anyway, so I'm just, I've been messing around. I've just been grinding out uh, resources. One resource that um, that gets you more, so you can get it by by going through, like I'll show you here, like you can get these resources from doing like, like if you switch battles, it switches which resources you can get. But for these first ones, persistently you can get scrap metal. And this, you can get uh, more money by selling scrap that you have in your in your inventory than you can buy anything else so um, as an example um, so like this is uh, this is my scrap metal right here um, I just sold a whole ton of it but anyway so you can sell it for uh, five dollars and 44 cents or whatever whatever this cross out currency is um, and then as an example like gasoline or, or fuel you can sell a hundred of these for a fairly similar similar price but like all the other resources that you can get like some of those weapons and stuff that you guys saw like you get like nine cents you get eight cents that kind of thing so like you don't get tons from that but uh with scrap it's easiest to get so i i loaded this out just for like fun quick gameplay kind of thing um it's a lower power score hanger but uh what i'm looking for is for scrap and then if i get this one uh this guy sells for more than any of the other resources that you can get at these like lower level ones so um so anyways that's what i'm doing right now and for for a lot of you that probably doesn't make too many sense but basically for for every round you play you get resources and stuff and then as you level up you also get items you can also get like you can get boxes like just for signing in and stuff like that like signing in sign in bonuses and things you get boxes or crates that you can open most of them aren't worth opening, so I'd recommend just selling those. If you guys do start playing this game, just sell the crates. <laughs> uh, but anyway, here, so you can see the power scores of every player there at the beginning. I'll, I'll show you on the next one. You guys, we, we couldn't really take too good of a look at that. <laughs> trying to get off of this guy. But yeah, so the reason I did this is so that... <laughs> Dude's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> or or maybe he knows me. Maybe he's maybe he's the guy that recommended this game to me. I don't know. Um, but anyway. Okay, here's some guys coming over the hill here. So recommendation would definitely be to to use as much cover as you can and keep watching your uh, your six. I'm keeping these trees to my left so that I they have a harder time flanking me. Pretty sure I see movement right up there. Yeah, there we go. See me getting some of that damage. So if anything else, we'll be able to get that guy to move. Um, but one big thing, uh, kind of like in War Robots, but I would say more so in this game, try not to find your, like, try not to get yourself, uh, stuck alone. Oh, look at this guy. He's just running around and shooting teammates like an idiot. <laughs> so he was just being a jerk. All right. So I think we talked about this last round, uh, but you can, I don't want to win by area capture. I want to win by breaking stuff. So I just kind of jump into the circle just to make them like come back here oh crap <laughs> it's a lot of guys nice <laughs> took him out all right we gotta move <laughs> oh nice nice gg teammate so with a fast build like this you definitely need to like keep moving there's a guy behind me too an enemy player oh i just got wrecked what did i just get killed by what does he have Oh, he's got a missile drone. That's what it was. You see that drone flying? It hit me with like one shot and I went down. <laughs> so the cab that I have on mine right now is not strong and I, I didn't put any armor on it because I wanted it just to be really fast and have a, a fairly low power score. So <laughs> oh, that thing just wrecked me. Anyway, so here's that guy that was wasting time shooting teammates and running into people and stuff. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully he can help us... Uh, bring this in for a win wonder so we've got these two guys on my team here they should be they should be able to take out that player right there no problem so with that cannon that he has right there it has a limited firing angle so you've got to pretty much get the guys like right in front of you oh <laughs> nice and that one's like super strong so 
Nice. But yeah, so blowing weapons off of guys, that's definitely something you want to make sure you do before like anything else, because then they can't do anything to you. So let's let's jump into another round. We'll try not to die. I, I just had two warm up rounds and uh and that's been uh, those are both actually really good. I was like, man, I should have been recording right now. <laughs> so I just jumped into it. Oh, nice. So we got both of the things that we wanted. We got more scrap, and then we got that booster. Or the, uh, sorry, the car jack. Um, so those are used to help flip you over if you do flip. So it'll automatically get you into a next into the next battle if you just wait. So leveled up. So Lunatics is the faction that I'm in right now. So every time you level up in that, you get parts from that faction. And then uh, at certain points, you get like different workbenches open that allows you to craft other parts so level five is what i'm hoping to get to in this uh in this faction because they have uh, they have some options for shotguns that i'm looking forward to uh, i just have like the base level shotguns right now and i kind of want something a little bit better i want to get into something a little bit better crap not sure what that guy's running so let's just uh <laughs> let's just get out of here there's probably guys coming down here too. Oh no, I flipped. <laughs> oh dang it. Oh nice. Thank you, teammate. A lot of times you sit there like half the round flipped over because your teammates don't get you. Okay, so I was I was attacking just his weapons as much as I could, um, so that he can't do anything else to us. And it looks like he doesn't have any bumpers on the front that uh, that could hurt us. And that guy with that plain name, he was probably a boss. So Ryan and David, if you look at the top right, they're both taken out right there. And they're at the bottom of the list, and usually that's where they place uh, where they place the bots and everything. Nice. So I got the kill on that one. When it says enemy destroyed, when that pops up on your screen, that means that you got the kill. Uh, you got the kill there. Try to take off some of the weapons on these guys. So basically, you you want to just like aim at the tops of these guys. Oh man, <laughs> weapons are cooling down. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta use that speed. All right, and again, like I said before, retreat towards your team. <laughs> That's usually your your best shot. So this guy looks like he's going towards our base, uh, which we which we don't want. <laughs> okay, so there's a teammate up there right now, hopefully drawing some fire and helping to get that guy. Okay, cool. So they got him. All right, let's head across the bridge over here and, and get this guy. I really like the maps. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I really like the maps. Uh, I think they did a really good job in this game putting them together and, and giving the maps some variability and stuff. Nice. Ooh, ouch. So my cab's on fire. Dang it, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> that was so close. I almost just peed. <laughs> oh, I thought that guy was going to wreck me for sure. <laughs> Anyway, so not not too bad of a round, but anyway, so so that's some basic stuff. Uh, I I'll just take you guys through um, some of some of the other things. I'll go to my hangar and I'll show you some other things about the game, some of the nuances and things. Um, but yeah, so power scores are shown underneath everybody's names and stuff like that. So yeah, just so you know, and at the beginning of the round, you can see that too. You can kind of check out the power scores between you and other players. So. Yeah, just uh, just got the level up to level 14, and then I got my faction level up. So I talked to you guys about that before, but uh, in Engineers, that's the faction that you start in. And so you, you constantly basically are, are leveling that up, and then you can pick any one of these other factions. And there's actually another one that they're adding to the game pretty soon. This one's unlockable at level 25. Uh, they've got a lot of like heavy stuff, like heavy armor and tank stuff, and they've got like mech legs. Um, but the faction I'm in right now, um, so level five is what I need for the second part of the workbench. And I'm looking forward to this uh, Thunderbolt shotgun. And then a, a couple things, actually. And then there's this cricket, like, missile launcher thing. It does, like, max damage, as you can see there on the right. Um, it, it does huge, huge damage. It's, it's pretty weak, and it's really easy to hit, so they get blown off super fast. So you have to build them into your build pretty hard. But um, And then there's this guy that's a melee one. A anyway, there's just a ton of stuff. Uh, that I that I would like to get from this faction, and these are the different resources required to uh, to craft this thing. So it requires each one of these, um, and it shows what you what you have and what um, what you need, and then it shows you what's uh, what, what's coming up there. Or, or sorry, what's coming up there? What am I talking about? It, it shows you the other parts that you need to be able to put into it. So these are like the base material, base resources, and then uh, different like macro resources. So things uh, like structure pieces or or uh, things like that but anyway so that's so that's kind of a, a little bit about the factions 
um, and that kind of thing. Um, and then as far as like what's in my storage, uh, you guys can see all this, but you can, you can uh, just look at things by category. So these are all the different cabs that I have right here. And then, uh, and then these are different frames and stuff like that. So you can see like it pops up with a power score. The cab that I have on the vehicle right now has a power score of 250. Um, and so these cabs, since they're like this one's super fast and it's also a little bit stronger and has more energy available, it has a higher power score. So when you get when uh, matchmaking gets you, it knows about where to put you with other players. And then different types of wheels that I have. Um, that's another thing that I'm. That's the thing I'm going to work towards next once I have those weapons available to me from this uh, from this faction. I'm going to move to another faction so I can get some different wheels and treads and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so there's engines and, like, there's this chameleon thing that helps you, like, cloak and things like that. But anyway, so that's uh, that's a little bit more about Crossout. <laughs> and obviously, if you guys don't want to watch Crossout videos, then just don't watch these ones. Just watch the War Robots ones. But uh, from now on, I'll just add these ones separately. Uh, we'll do them uh, as a as an additional upload on the days that we uh, on the days that we do actually end up doing them so anyway uh, thanks for checking out the video guys if there's anything you'd like to see or if you're already familiar with Crossout uh, go ahead and put some requests down there I'll <laughs> I don't know if the developers will care about me because my uh, my channel is pretty small but I, I'd like to reach out to the developers to see if I can get hooked up with some of uh, the higher end resources and or just different parts and things like that just so I can show you guys things a little bit quicker. So anyway, thanks for coming and checking out the video guys. I hope you have an amazing day.